Thank you, Dick, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Alfred, and I am the, as you can see here from the slide, the co-founder and CEO of Brightscope. And Brightscope rates the quality of your 401k plan, including the government thrift savings plan for many people in this room. And then we sell data analytics software to a number of large companies. Um, and in the fall of 2007, my brother and I went down to the Marriott by our house and uh, wanted to watch some Monday night football and have a few drinks and brainstorm. And as these things tend to go, uh, a few drinks turned into a few more. Um, but we were thinking clearly, and the maker's mark was cheap. And at one point, we looked at each other and said, well, wait a second. How can there be 60 million Americans that have 401k plans with close to $3 trillion in assets, and yet there's no easy way to figure out how good your 401k plan is? And even worse, there's not even a baseline of basic 401k data available online. So this was sort of our big idea, and the light seemed to shine down from the heavens that evening. And at one point, there's even sort of like a small little cherub-like figure in the sky playing a harp. Um, and, you know, obviously there wasn't really a cherub in the sky playing a harp, but the point is if you've ever been an entrepreneur, you sort of know what that moment is like. And so we started thinking, okay, what are some models for how we can build this company? And we thought of Joe Mansuto at Morningstar, and starting in 1985, he started publishing Morningstar ratings, which eventually led in 2010 to Morningstar being a $2 billion company. Um, you're probably all familiar with the Morningstar rating. And the genius of what th these guys did is they started with SEC data. Um, and they used that SEC data to form the basis of the Morningstar rating, which then sort of compelled the large mutual fund families to provide the data to Morningstar that then powers the rest of their products. So start with public data and go from there. That was sort of the, the goal there. Um, so from the 10 to 15 pages of notes that we took that night at the bar, we started working the next day at Excel and then pulled in a couple of academics to sort of um, fine-tune this Brightscope rating, which we wanted to use in the marketplace. But of course, at that point, we needed to uh, raise some money to build this company. And the problem, of course, was that when we were out raising money, the Dow was falling 500 points. Um, and one of our investors, actually, when he tried to bring us his $250,000 check, almost got physically restrained by his wife um, as he left the house. But we were able to raise about 900000 from angels. And the first thing we did is we said, well, we need to get some data, because we raise money on a business plan, but we don't have any data. Um, so we went to Washington, D.C. We didn't know anyone, and we walked into the Department of Labor, brought some coffee and donuts, because we figured we might need to make some friends. Uh, and we walked in, and we said, listen, we'd like all the data that you have on 401k plans, including the fund lineups and everything that are offered by major employers. And the guy behind the desk said, well, wait a second. No one's really ever asked us for the information about the funds held in 401k plans. And to be honest, I'm not even sure that we have that. Um, but of course, it turns out they did have it. They just didn't know it. And so what, what ended up happening is that day we went behind the desk of the employee there in the EBSA room and, and was able to obtain Google, Microsoft, GE, Facebook, and a number of other companies' audit reports. And the, the, the beautiful thing about these audit reports is it has the entire fund lineup for each of these companies, which no one had ever extracted before. Problem is, of course, it's difficult to parse this information. It's not put in a database. There's a number of data errors in the forms. And of course, you've got to pay five cents a page to take these things out of there, and it's a lot of free-flowing text. So we built a team of 12 people to do that. And what would happen is every week or two, we would get a giant box with like 40 or 50 companies um, that would come in the mail, and we'd have our analysts go in there and pull out the individual forms and start typing in the name of the funds into an Excel spreadsheet so we could rate these plans. And so at some point, after filing a number of FOIA requests for individual companies, we said, why don't you just give us all of the audit reports at one time on a disk? Um, and anyone who's ever filed a FOIA request knows what type of responses you can get, but we actually got one that said this is the most onerous request the Department of Labor has ever received, which I'm actually pretty proud of. Um, and so what we ended up having to do is, is we uh, uh, worked through several of our advisors to get several senators to write letters and somebody high up um, in Obama's administration to put some pressure on them so that they would release um, the plans um, that we wanted in electronic format. So that allowed us to do all of these things that you see here. We raised an additional $2 million. We've created 30 jobs. Um, you know, all the quantifiable metrics look really good for the business going forward. And again, it's all sort of driven from the beginning by this public data that someone just needed to extract um, from the Department of Labor. So a lot of times when we go travel around, people say, well, hey, th this company's got to be New York or Chicago-based um, or maybe even D.C.-based since you get a lot of your data from there. And the reality is we're just a, a small company in San Diego. And San Diego is actually a, an analytics hotbed. So there's a number of companies like us that do this sort of work. Um, in other areas. And so what have I learned? You know, you don't need experience, gray hair, or tech background. I'm a history major from Stanford, so what do I know about technology? Um, but what I did have was guts, passion, and a lot of maker's mark. Um, and I put the question mark there because you don't have to drink to do this, obviously. Uh, we also learned that public data doesn't mean it's accessible. So this data had been there for 20 years, but of course no one had ever left the Department of Labor with it before. But that doesn't mean that it's not extremely valuable. Um, I believe we can create a very, very large company around data that, again, was there from the beginning. So why are we doing all this? Because we want to improve the retirement security 
uh, of America's workforce. And the only way you can do that is to create additional efficiency in the marketplace. Um, so this is actually a poster that's up on our wall and it guides everything that we do at Brightscope. Uh, thank you very much.